welcome to another special Friday that we've kind of mixed up a bit so we're having a bit more of math today but a super fun game. I can't wait. First of all, let's welcome in the day. Are you ready? The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit at circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance him on your shoulders, dance him on your head. Dance him on your knees and tuck him into bed. Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with bright shiny faces. And I say to you, good morning to you. Good morning, Miss Alexa. Good morning, what's your name? Good morning everyone, I'm glad you're here today. Hooray! Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas, como estas. Muy bien, gracias, muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Ready? Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. But what buenos dias, what good day is it today? Hmm, let's take a look at the calendar. If yesterday was Thursday, tomorrow will be Saturday, it means today is the last day of the working week. Friday, today is Friday and it is the last day of July today. It's gonna be a lot of numbers, shoulders up and down your back pockets. Are you ready? Deep breath in and out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. 28, 29, 30, 31. Today is Friday, July 31st. Hoy es el viernes, el 31 de julio. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Los días de la semana son siete, son siete, los días de la semana son siete, son Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, son siete, son siete, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, sunny, sunny. Sunny, sunny, is it sunny in the sky? S-U-N-N-Y is sunny, is it sunny in the 
the sky. Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? C L O U D Y, cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R A I N Y is rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, 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 windy. Is it windy in the sky? W I N D Y, windy. Is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? S N O W Y is snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? My friends, what is the weather like with you today? Oh, well here, it is still quite cloudy. It's a little bit rainy. So I am going to sing about the clouds, but you choose the word that works for your weather and I will meet you at the end of the song. Ready? I know a day just like today and cloudy was the weather. C L O U D Y C L O U D Y C L O U D Y and cloudy was the weather. Today we are having another cool math day. We are going to play a super fun mm -hmm, number game. A super fun number game that can be adapted to whatever age you are. So come on, let's go take a look at what it is. For our math game today, it's pretty cool and very simple and can be simplified in many different ways. On my tray, I have a basket and I have some, I have 10 to be precise, I have 10 green popsicle sticks in. Now this will change depending on your age and how much you can count to basically. Follow, follow the child, follow yourself. What number can you count to? Sometimes I put 50 items in here, but I try and make sure they're the same. So maybe it's 50 white stones or 50 pebbles, but try and make sure they're all the same. Or if I put more art sticks or popsicle sticks in, make sure they're all the same colors. But right now I have 10. I have a little pot to hold my pencil and some paper. And on the floor behind me, which I will show you, I have a small work mat, which is where I'm going to put my basket for this first piece of work. So first of all, I am going to put my basket on the work mat. One second. Now let's play our game. I'm going to go first, mommy or daddy or older brother and sister. You can also do this by yourself if you know your numbers and you can write numbers out. Hmm, let me think of a number between one and ten. I know I'm going to write my favorite number down. This is the number two. I am going to go and get two popsicle sticks. Come on. Hello, ready? One, two. Let me take my tray back to the table. So I collected my two. This is the number two. I need to lay it out so you can see it on the table. One, two. Let's try a different number. Can you go and collect two? This is why you guys go and get two. And then we just keep going and make an entire collection of all the numbers. Now, if you have more objects in that box, I might do this. Ooh. Ready? What number is this? Mm. 24. Can you please get me? 24 popsicle sticks. And then you can go and fetch 24, bring them back, put them in a line and count them out. 
I hope you enjoy playing this at home, friends. It's a wonderful game. Now, if you guys want to do it by yourself too, you just keep it on the shelf with the basket and the pencil and the paper, and you can write out your own numbers as big as you want, as long as you make sure you have enough objects in your basket, and you can go and collect them from your basket and make a wonderful work for yourself. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Isn't that a fun game? I love fun games with numbers. And the best part about it is you can make it as easy or as challenging, as difficult as you would like to make it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Let's finish today with a little number song. So many songs and so many rhymes use numbers to count them, but we are gonna sing one today about a little fishy. You ready? Five little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And <coughs> now there were four little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And <laughs> now there were three little fishies swimming in the sea. <gasps> Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And <laughs> now there were two little fishies swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And <gasps> now there was one little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Shark, as quiet as can be. And <gasps> now there were no little fishy swimming in the sea. What happened to all the fishies? The shark ate them. Yum, yum. That's why you shouldn't tease a shark. <laughs> Let's do our breathing to shark breath today. So we're going to breathe in and out. Ready? Shoulders up and down in your back pockets. My friends, I have a very special message to end with today. If you do not already know, your mommies and daddies, nannies and babysitters do not know, this is coming up to our last couple of weeks of circle time where it will be ready available on YouTube. But what I have developed is a very cool Montessori curriculum that you can do at home, whether you're homeschooling, whether you need something because you haven't decided whether you're sending your um, three to six year olds back to school yet and you need something for your nanny or your babysitter to teach. Um, this is something that has been a very simplified by me. I've spoken to a lot of my mom friends who said they've bought curriculums before and they've been very complicated to understand. So if you would like to more about, know more about it, shoot me an email. I have my email address in the description and I will send you some more details on that. You can still get the circle time videos. The curriculum comes with me teaching you every day, guys, with your circle time, but then it will come with a daily schedule as well and weekly reminders of the materials that you will need and also an overview of the whole year so you can see what we will be touching upon in the whole year. So keep an eye out for that, but in the meantime, hit that subscribe button and I can't wait to see you on Monday. Goodbye.